what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and today i have a question from thermal physics and this question was requested by one of my viewer in the last video so let's go through it very quickly so there is a cylindrical volume of made of adiabatic walls having helium gas of m gram divided into two parts by thin fixed rigid membrane so this is a thin fixed rigid membrane here wait a minute hmm. volume of the right part is eta times volume of the left part so whatever the volume here is it will be eta times the left one and electric heat is of constant power <coughs> sorry installed in the left part is switched on so this stupid power source is plugged in here due to the finite thermal conductivity of the membrane heat passes from the left to the right okay so there is some thermal conductivity so heat passes from here to here also the heat transfer rate is this one temperature diff okay the heat transfer rate is given like 0.2 watt per degree centigrade okay so we must multiply it with the temperature difference between these two regions okay the membrane uh, initially the heater was switched off both the parts were in thermal as well as in mechanical equilibrium the membrane can withstand a maximum pressure difference of del p okay find the maximum power of the heater so that the membrane remains intact after long time of heating molar mass of okay okay the question is fine i mean i am not fond of thermal physics so but still i am doing this one as it was requested by someone actually thermal physics is a very abstract uh, chapter it is not like uh, mechanics or electromagnetism so people lose interest in this chapters okay so let me draw the diagram once again okay so two regions if this volume is v1 this volume is v2 let this volume contains n1 number of moles and this volume contains n2 number of moles the power source heat is being transferred from here to here let at any time interval dt at any time interval dt pdt amount of heat is transferred by the power source to region 1 and that heat is utilized to increase the internal energy of both the regions accordingly because as the volume is not changing so no work is done on this membrane so that will be equal to du1 plus du2 okay so p is nothing but du1 divided by dt plus du2 divided by dt now increase of internal energy of this region is due to the transfer of heat from left to right and that transfer of heat is nothing but h times del t into dt okay so this is nothing but temperature difference between both the regions both regions okay so du1 divided by dt plus h del t and those dt gets cancelled out you can write du1 dt as n1 cv dt1 dt plus h times del t where dt1 dt is nothing but rate of increase of temperature in region 1 ok sorry for my worst handwriting but I hope you can understand fine now let us go back to our second region the heat that is being transferred to the second region in time dt is this one and that is increasing the inter uh, internal energy that is n2 cv dt2 
okay so this much amount of heat is transferred in this much amount of time and that is utilized to increase the temperature by a small amount dt2 okay so cv is h times del t divided by n2 dt divided by dt2 okay now we will just plug the value of cv in the previous formula previous equation that is n1 times cv so cv is h del t divided by n2 oops sorry dt1 dt1 divided by dt into dt divided by d capital d2 okay uh, plus h del t okay fine uh, now let's just make this a little bit tidy dt1 divided by dt dt2 divided by dt plus h del t okay now as the source this source is supplying energy the temperature here is increasing the temperature here is also increasing but after a long time when the system will become stable the rate of increase in temperature in both the regions will be same okay so after a long time the rate of increase in temperature in both the regions will be same so after a long time if rate of increase in temperature will be same in both the regions then this will be equals to this so you can just cancel out so p will be equals to n1 divided by n2 h del t plus h del t okay now n1 by n2 is nothing but the ratio of their volumes and uh, you can just take out h del t as common and we just need to replace del t in the form of del p so del t is nothing but the temperature difference between the two regions so t is nothing but p1 v1 n1 r minus p2 v2 n2 r considering helium as an ideal gas so now listen v1 by n1 equals to v2 by n2 will be equals to total volume divided by total number of moles and total number of moles is nothing but total mass divided by molar mass so it becomes v m small m r p1 minus p2 or v m small m r del p okay now just plug it in here you will get capital p equals to 1 by eta plus 1 h times capital v m divided by small m r to del p okay so this is the formula for the power source and the pressure difference now just put del p equals to 1000 pascal you will get the maximum power source that can be utilized so that this uh, stupid membrane does not breaks up in the middle okay now just use the data those are given in the question and uh, you will get an answer of 0 0.18 watts okay so i'm not doing that calculation i'm leaving it leaving this one for you i hope you found this video helpful and informative okay thank you